Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I am going to go through how to create mobile report and also the new Q&A questions and answers that was released on the mobile just a few days ago. I think it's really cool, so I want to show you. So we will go through how to create mobile report and then how to use the mobile functionality. Let's go. So. Uh, here we have our AdWords performance report in Google Analytics. And if we want to do a mobile version of it, uh, the first thing you need to make sure is that you actually have, let's see, the mobile report authoring uh, feature, uh, preview feature enabled. Okay, you have to click on this, otherwise you won't see what I'm going to show you now. Make sure you check that out. When you click and enable that, then you go here into view and then change layout. And a mobile um, layout will show up. And here's where we can start designing our dashboard. So let's say we put first the logo. We want to give it a title. Something like that. And now we want to put filter and we want to have these KPIs, right? That one and our revenue, not that one. I think it's that one. So we could have Let's see. We could have the small icons in there. Times viewed, times clicked, and revenue made. Something like that. It looks quite nice. So now that you have the report in here, you need to publish uh, these to Power BI. And uh, both layouts will be published. So this is how you would do it in Power BI um, desktop, but you have the opportunity to do this in powerbi.com right away. So let me show you. So here we are in Power BI and this is the same um, uh, report just published in, in the cloud. And what we can do is to create a mobile view here too. So what you would do, you first have to push the tiles here. You have to pin the tiles that you want to a dashboard. And I have already done that in here. And once you have done that, you go there and you click phone. And then when you switch to the phone version, tiles on this dashboard will appear in the customized view on all phones. Okay, fabulous. And here you have the same, or almost the same capabilities as you had on Power BI desktop. So you can size the tiles. Let's say that we want this one in there, that one in there, like that. We don't want revenue two times, so we're going to unpin that. We want time. Let's put that in there. Times viewed. And this is the click through rate. So click through rate. Cost per click is in there. And this is two times we take it away. Let's put it like that, something like that. So now that we have designed our layout, we can go back to web. As you can see, nothing changes in here. There are two separate layouts. And now we're going to go to my phone and see how this looks, okay? Okay, so here we are on my mobile and we're going to open the Power BI app. 
and on my workspace here's where I have the AdWords report so as you can see it just loaded and it looks exactly the way we decided on Power BI, right? Now, do you see down here the uh, speech boxes? I don't know how that's called. So when we click in there, that's where we can access the Q&A questions and answers preview. This is, it has been released, as I said, just a couple of days ago. So we have to give it a chance. So we want to know uh, the CPC cost per click by month, 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 month. I don't know if I will get that as a line chart give me that and there we have it that is so cool and now I want to get um, the click through rate mm. not that let's see what else is there uh, and the click cost per click by month uh, name, thank you, as a, no, it's as line chart. But no, I want to have it actually as a bar chart. Hmm. How cool is that? Um, should we try something else? I mean, you have to play with this. This is super cool. The cost by week number as give me the chart I would like to have a color there, there you have it oh yeah we could have had okay let's do this first uh, cost by week as card so week 14 zero week 3 53 crowns and now I want to go back to, I wonder if I can do that, if I can take this one. No, I cannot click and get it in there. I have to do it again. So CTR, click through rate and, uh, and cost per click by month name as I want to have it like that combo chart. What? That was not what I meant. Sorry. No, you didn't. I probably am asking a stupid question. Oh, I don't have any maps. That would have been cool too. I don't think I have any geo data in there. Cost by country. No, I don't have any country. Hmm. Well, y you see how it works, right? So uh, I don't think I should play anymore. You you can uh, just download and play it, play with it yourself. But it's quite entertaining. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, you know, how, how to ask the questions, but otherwise it's super cool. Great. 
Okay, so this is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comment box. If you try the Q&A, so I would love to hear what you think of it. Uh, I thought it was quite fun to play with. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions, as usual, comment box or social channels. And uh, subscribe. Uh, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.